welcome back to another video okay so as you can see in the title we want to talk to you about what 37 did to us and why we left 37 to go to a different hospital, hospital. for delivery or for atinata is it correct atinata atinata i said it well atinata whichever way it is there's no other way it's atinata <laughs> all right guys so um you are pushing me away hey see what i do you are putting your legs in my stomach and this is what she was doing to me in the stomach <laughs> <laughs> anyway so uh, we can't really remember the dates to be precise but i think if i go back to the photos that i took with the with christine and the children i'll be able to tell the date yes and then even when i go to my chat i'll just find them yeah but i mean that, that that's it by the way but we can tell them what really happened yeah um, wah, 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 I'm, I'm, wah. I'm, I'm, I'm not a good storyteller so when i'm telling the story it can prolong that's so wah, bad wah, but wah. i'm trying to learn how to summarize wah, 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 my, wah, wah, wah. my my speech and talkings and my stories you know wah, 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 it's wah. very important because i'm coming through i'm not a white woman i'm again we shall get there yeah okay so this video basically was um one fateful day before that day was it a fateful day <laughs> yeah <laughs> It, it it was probably a fateful day but for some reason it was it a sad day yeah a sad and a very cruel and mean day very but every day is a good day every day is a good day yeah. as far as i didn't die it's always a good day <laughs> so before that particular day franca had an experience um more like not eating early because she was pregnant you know i learned along the way that when you're pregnant you have to like eat almost often every time when you're not even <coughs> when you don't even feel like eating you have to eat you gotta put something in that tummy and then she didn't eat for like i think till 12 o'clock she had an an experience the experience was a breakdown she had an experience of a breakdown and it wasn't long she got well and um we were on and on and on and on. She was eating, all right. Everything was okay. Then again, there was this one time that I was even doing a video. I didn't upload that video. That I was going to buy orange because I think suddenly we all had cold. We were coughing, we were sneezing, and all of that. And then I was going to buy orange, which was usually the remedy that I use for us to use to kill sore throat and cough and those cold. sneezing and a cold and all of that and they said oh they are not eating as well so they were going to join me into the market so literally i was like okay that's fine i did a video i didn't upload that video i think i even deleted those videos yeah and then whilst we went there so from morning all the way to about 12 o'clock franca didn't eat again yeah i didn't and eat. was with us she didn't eat again we went to the market we walked walk 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 got everything that we had to get and when we came back i think we didn't even get to the car we got to a place we bought water and the thing just started yes so she was feeling quite weak very weak shaking headache headache literally hungry that was like really the means but eventually i don't know that was what the doctor told us that oh because she hadn't eaten that hunger part was more the reason yeah so because i didn't eat i broke down and I, nobody could even touch my skin so the next day that was a um, friday you know when we came home on that test i still cooked yeah so that that day even though she was weak and breaking down she still went on to cook i was like yeah. extremely hungry so i didn't decide to want to cook anything but the food she was doing was a particular food that she wanted to cook for us he didn't prepare for me he made me this myself i'm selling out your dad so I'm she sorry. stood on her legs weak and shaking and headache and coughing and she like cooked anyway so fast forward when that experience happened the next day uh, she was started she started feeling a little bit okay but the next two days it became very worse yeah i think the wednesday friday yeah wednesday friday thursday friday mm. so that thursday uh, that friday early morning i took her to 37. it wasn't continental day but uh, I had to take her anyway. We had to go. And then I took her to 
emergency gynae, which is where we're going to take it. Well, yes, we are told that in case you are not feeling fine and it's not time for antenatal, you should just go straight to the um, emergency guy. Emergency guy. So that was where we went to. We got there and um, a doctor just saw me and asked me what, what are my symptoms and I, I what, mentioned how she was feeling. My symptoms. Yeah. Symptoms. Symptoms. Yes. And I mentioned it, and all she could say was COVID. So we yeah. should go and do a COVID yeah. test. Yeah. Um, yeah. Victor got angry and was like, how sure are you that it's yeah. COVID? You yeah. don't just assume yeah. it's COVID. Yeah. Yeah. So after all, we still went to do the COVID test and all. And when we went to do the COVID test, we were told it's COVID. We came back. I'm making a shot. We came back and we were told to wait outside. You know, Ghanaians and stigma and all of that. You know, black mind. Yeah, so we came... Um, we waited outside, we were told the doctor was going to come, was going to come, but Victor had work to go and do. He had to leave me and go, but I was there with Inshira. So, I think, I think... And throughout, she hasn't eaten no. I so I took her very early in the morning, like about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Yes, I think then Inshira and them so were on vacation, so... Yeah. Yeah, so... And, um... <coughs> Through that, we waited, 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 waited. They told us that their boss, who was at the COVID center, was coming to see her. But the boss never came. Never came. So like 3 p.m. Ooh. Never Ooh. came. Never came. I waited, waited, and Victor called me and asked me, what's up? Have I been attended to? I said, no. And he came to pick us up. But when he came, he was very angry. Can you imagine me being in pain and all of that? I asked the and younger pregnant. doctor. Pregnant. I asked the, doc, the younger doctor, the, the learning one, the learners. I asked the lady who was speaking to me that, can they give me anything that would calm down the pain that I'm going through? They said, no, I should wait for the doctor. I asked, can they give me a place to lie my head for the till the doctor came? They said, no, I should wait outside. I waited outside. Do you know the kind of questions they were asking me? When was my last period? When did I have sex? sex? <laughs> when you, last? You, you see the person how, was how clean is? Do I manage my my short period and unnecessary you non know, fuck questions? So when Victor came, Victor just came to pick me up and we left. But he no, called. No, we were about to go. They were like, "Oh, we shouldn't go. We should <coughs> wait." Blah blah blah. Their boss is coming. <coughs> oh, you have been saying your boss is coming. You have been saying your boss is coming. It wasn't today. Yeah. And your boss has never still come. Yeah. I left here about seven o'clock, eight o'clock. And I'm here at three o'clock. Your boss still hasn't come, and she hasn't okay. eaten still. Yeah. You can imagine the pain she was in. So I was like, no, we are going home, and I took her away. Whilst we were going, I called a doctor friend of mine, Kolebu, and then <coughs> I told him the situation. Yeah. When I told him, I was like, oh, he's not sure it's COVID, especially especially now, especially that she's pregnant. <coughs> wow. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah. Especially that she's pregnant, she's not he's not sure it's COVID. So we should go and do another test, blood and urine. We did a test, blood and urine. Blood, uh, urine was okay. Blood was okay. The only thing was some small malaria parasite. Oh, sorry and because know. she was told she had partial GCSPD, she was told by the doctors at the same 37 that she won't get. <coughs> it will be hard for me. It to will get be hard for her to get malaria. So like, don't bet on it that she will get malaria. Mm. So my friend said oh, we should go and do the test. When we did the test, we went, came back to Medina Randy Pharmacy to do the test. So and then because she hasn't eaten the whole morning, I took her to a place to go and eat. And we went to eat. When we were eating, we realized that she was beginning to feel okay. Also, because we left the hospital presence, she was beginning to feel okay a yeah, bit. Yeah, I think so. And then we went to eat the food. When we came back, we checked the results from the test we did. And then it <coughs> was malaria parasite. Okay. So, so yeah. when we did the test and it was malaria parasite, um, my doctor, same doctor friend in Kolebu gave us some prescription to buy yeah. for her body. And that's when she started feeling a little okay. But even though she started feeling a little okay, she was really, really not well. Yeah. And then one of my clients told me that she gave birth at um, a hospital called Ghana, no, Canada. Canada. So I called her, asked her where to do, how to do, go about it. And she was like, oh, it's uh, here, here, here. And then pa- the next day, I took her to, it was on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, I took her to Ghana, Canada. Went early in the morning. Went very early in the morning. And can you imagine? Someone who wasn't well, immediately she entered the hospital. Oh, it was fine. like how she was feeling just lifted off. Like she was never feeling unwell. Mm-hmm. 
and then we met a doctor and then we started the process again so it was even through the doctor that i even got to know that pregnancy is counted in weeks mm -hmm. not not by the months yeah you know and some people don't know and understand that so they thought it's by months anyway so 37 really nearly killed Francisca. Yeah, I almost died. I mean, Franca. 37 nearly killed Franca for I me. I couldn't move my legs. I couldn't raise my legs. I couldn't raise my hands. You can't touch me. When I sit, then I'm off. Like, I can imagine. She was but in excessive pain. If you ask yourself, why would a pregnant woman go to an, a hospital and they won't be sick to so quickly? But when they go to insurance company, they are being sick to faster. Like, who does that? So yeah, this is our story. That was how we moved to Ghana, Ghana. Canada. And, that's and, then, where... and then even the doctor friend of mine in Kolebuhu told us to go and do the test. And can you imagine, later we did the COVID test again and it was negative. Yeah. And then, because I also did the test too. And then my friend said, oh, we should he even, first of all, told us to go to a private hospital. Yeah. And then we're time. like, okay, cool. We'll try it and see. So he even told us that, uh, yeah, he told us that, that on that day about the private hospital. Oh, yeah. So when he said it now, we're said, like, okay, no so problem. You, you, should, you should go to a private hospital if only you can afford If only we can afford the private even hospital. Even though it's expensive, it's yeah. far better than. <coughs> so yeah, uh, that was how it happened. Uh, uh, so this is us now. We went there and everything has been good so far. Nothing bad has come out from there. We've never complained of anything from that place. And even when we were going to state seven, my heart was not at peace because you go today and you meet a different doctor, and tomorrow you go and you meet a different doctor, and the next day you go and you meet a, a, a learning midwife or doctor who would you do as an experiment? Well, a doctor has to take care of pregnant women. Of a pregnant woman, you know, it's so delicate. You can hear mommy's voice. Ouch. So yes. Yeah. So uh, honestly, at thirty-seven, uh, with <coughs> a bit of experience during antenatal time, Charlie, we could wake up early in the morning, like about three o'clock, because we want to be there like four or five o'clock, just so that we could be the first to get there. But you'd be surprised that you get there, and, and the then you are the last to live there. Or you are the last to be attended to because many people, uh, when you get to the hospital, now they are going to see to all the military wives. They'll be calling Colonel so and so, so and so, SDP so and so, so and so wife, and then all of those names. I tell you, before me, you, and me, it was me, even me. one time that uh, when they were doing all of those, I got upset and I went to I went to one of the doctor nurses and told them that ah, me and my wife have been here since five o'clock. See, oh, me, oh me, I don't have a problem because I know it's a military hospital because then they weren't taking no, uh, civilians. Okay. But it's not like it's a military hospital. I understand that it's a military hospital where when uh, military wives and military men come, they have to stick to them. But even with that, no, when it's, uh, one thing I know is that when you stick to one, you stick to one civilian. You stick to one, you stick to... No matter the time, the military wife would come. You yeah, get that? But, 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 but you don't do but that. That way. wasn't so cool. At worst, they would stick to all the military wives before. Oh, sometimes cry. The civilians that will come late will be sick to even, to before, even before you. That you came you early. came early. So one time I was. And so the most painful thing is that you will go in and the, and you won't get me the doctor you who knows what's wrong with you. And there's a different doctor there who will continue the session with you. And, and younger doctors who will be seeking to you and just be putting fear into you. Uh, yeah. Unnecessary. Unnecessary. Yeah. So, and that's one of the disadvantages for going to 37. When you go to 37, yeah. you meet different doctors on different antenatal days. We don't know if and that's what happens in other hospitals, but this is the experience we've had with 37. Yeah. Uh, 37 is a hospital I go to for checkup and everything. I've never experienced this, okay? But the antenatal until like, I got <laughs> pregnant and then went to that side and I was like, oh, nah. But the Ghana, Canada place is just one doctor you see through wow. and through. He even delivers you. you. Uh -huh. So um, that's the merit to Ghana, Canada. But I think that um, Ghana, Canada can be quite expensive. It's but not can be quite. It's very expensive. It's expensive. Because the private was very expensive. Uh, yeah. But then 
even though it's expensive i believe that if you have the means and you can plan properly for it yeah, i would go. say go to a private hospital and <laughs> because then you go you won't you won't keep long you won't keep long you go you meet the doctor person yeah. he ah, tells yeah. you what's wrong he knows ah, if you want to Ghana if, Canada people they know their job <coughs> they know their job they know their job they know their job okay guys um we'll tell you more if you want to know more about wow, wow. We'll tell you more if you want to know more about these hospital experiences. And we'll tell you more about Ghana Canada if you want to know more. But, baby is crying. Mama has to feed her. Yeah. All right. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, tell somebody about our channel. Wow. <coughs> Subscribe. Subscribe, like it, like, and then... Comment. Let's see you in the comments. All right. Bye-bye.